Despite yellow mages saying that you can't please every god, you actually can max out affinity with every god as any character. It doesn't matter how bad your luck is, there's always a way. When you pray to a god three times in different locations, you gain one affinity point with them. At a ritual circle, you can pray to any god and it will count. Three of the gods have a statue to them. If you pray to the statue of the god, it will count as a proper prayer. If you pray to the wrong god at the Sylvian or Grogoroth statue, it will subtract from the prayer counter to whatever god you prayed to. Since there's five ritual circles and three statues, you might think you can only get two affinity points through prayer. But there's actually a secret extra prayer. When you sacrifice the man on the crucifix in the torture chambers, it counts as a prayer to Almer, bringing the total chances to pray to nine, letting you pray three times to each god. Almer is the easiest god to max out with only one tier of affinity. If you sacrifice the man at the crucifix, then pray to Almer at the statue, then pray once at a ritual circle, you've maxed out his affinity and gained access to Blood Portal. Blood Portal is awesome. It lets you fast travel. Sylvian is the second easiest god to max out. Pray to her at the statue in the caverns, then in two more ritual circles. Afterwards, engage in the bunny mask orgy. Grogoroth has the highest max affinity, but he's also got the most chances to increase it. If you pray to the statue in Mahabra Center Square, then at the last two ritual circles, you gain a point of affinity and perfectly exhaust every prayer site. From here, engage in the Wolf Mask Orgy to get a second tier of affinity. At this point, you have everything in this Grogoroth tree except Black Orb, which is often enough. But this video is about maxing everything out. You can increase affinity with Grogoroth one more time through human sacrifice and ghouls count. There's a ton of soul stones throughout the dungeon, so pick up two and use two lesser souls to learn necromancy. Resurrect a ghoul and immediately sacrifice him to a ritual circle. If you found the book Creation of Life, you can sacrifice a fetus instead. To craft a fetus, get two glass vials. Fill one up with black from one of several places in the dungeon, and the other up with blood from the torture chamber. You can also use Creation of Life 2 by gathering the torn pages in the library near the torture chambers, Nosrabas' lair, and the old passage in Mahabra. Spend 20 mine to turn a corpse into a party member, then sacrifice it at the circle. It's more cost efficient than necromancy, but it's a lot further out of the way. You can skip prayer or the wolf mask orgy with extra sacrifices, but that's just being wasteful. Lastly, God of the Depth. God of the Depths has an entirely different method of gaining affinity. You have to do quests for the Cockroach King. However, you can't accept quests from the Cockroach King unless you have mastery over insects. And you can't learn that on the Hexen until you already have affinity. It seems like a catch-22, but... There's a single guaranteed empty scroll in Nosramus' chamber. Pick up the empty scroll and type, Oh Lord, teach mastery, then head into the thicket. There's one guaranteed explosive vial in the sixth floor mine, so even if you got a moonless village and no explosive vial drops, you can pick up one there and use it to get into the thicket. There's a specific hole on the fourth floor thicket that you have to drop down to to get to the king, and the nearby cockroaches will help point it out for you. Talk to him, and he'll tell you that you have to kill the local furry because he is a just and righteous king. Now you have to go all the way down and all the way back up to the courtyard again to find the butterfly. So I hope you learned Blood Portal to save time. Watch my video on how to defeat the butterfly safely. Then go back to the cockroach king, and he'll tell you to kill Enki. You specifically need to kill Enki when he's on the seventh floor. At no other time will it work. So make sure you talk to him a few times on the third floor to get him to move. Enki can be pretty dangerous in a fight, so watch my video on how to win against him. Return to the Cockroach King and get the second tier of affinity with the God of the Depths. If you play it as Enki, you can't actually do the Cockroach King's quest because you can't survive after killing yourself. But you can just choose to start with Max God of Depths affinity, and that's how you max out affinity in every single playthrough.